Thank you, Sandra. So in a major move in a crackdown on immigration, Trump administration plans to expand the collection of DNA from apprehended migrants. Griff Jenkins is on that story live in D.C. What's the story, Griff? Hey, Bill, two big border developments. The first is the DOJ is proposing a rule that will require DHS to collect the DNA of all illegal immigrants crossing our border for the FBI's National Criminal Database. It will be done via cheek swabbing upon being taken into custody. The DOJ not commenting before this rule is published, but a senior administration official told me in the last hour that the driving force behind this is that it's already mandated by law. They point back to the George W. Bush 2005 DNA Fingerprint Act. Now, a waiver kept it from being enforced under President Obama. This, of course, undoes that. The move is outraging immigrant and civil rights activists who worry it's a serious violation of privacy and could lead to discriminatory profiling by law enforcement. This, as we're also learning from a joint story between the AP and PBS's Frontline series, the administration is looking to further privatize the care of migrant children in government custody. Now, that's a responsibility that falls to HHS's Office of Refugee Resettlement. They would hand the care over for the more than 72,000 children apprehended this fiscal year to companies like CHS or Comprehensive Health Services. The story is critical in part to the fact that former White House Chief of Staff John Kelly recently joined the board of CHS's parent company. Earlier this morning, we asked HHS Secretary Alex Azar about it. There was a very misleading story today suggesting privatizing the care of that. Uh, in fact, uh, what we do is we take care of the children, but we're actually doing the analytics now to look across all of our facilities because ideally we want all of our kids, and they are now, all of our kids in permanent facilities that are state licensed, that are small. That's the goal. Now, the numbers are down at the border, of course, but we still have some 67,000 in custody. HHS currently funds more than 45 organizations that operate more than 165 shelters. Bill? Thank you, Griff. Griff Jenkins.